Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign at E4. This is uh, Ragusa with a little bit of help and luck. We did a poll between chat and or a poll between episodes on chat for chat and uh, like 90% of people want clay. Shocking, right? So we're gonna go after Hungary. Uh, let's pull our troops back. We will wait until they're nearby before we get the war to, war started. Um. And actually what we're going to do is we are going to rent our army to not Hungary, because Hungary is um, poor. They, they can't afford to do it. But to the one person in the whole world that wants to protect them, which is their only ally, Mantua. Who happens to be sitting on a massive $361 reduce. Actually, we don't want to spy, I think, on the Ottomans right this second. Um, so he, obviously you can't rent out Kanatiri when they are already rented out, but um, I think we're just, I'm going to assume that he'll do this. So I'm going to subsidize him the maximum amount that I can, because I want him to pay me as much of that 300 sun buckets as possible. And it takes like two months to get that thing going anyway. We're going to go up to Bosnia. We're going to cancel our contract with Genoa right now. And then, as soon as we're able to, we're going to offer them to this guy. One thing we want to check real quick is to just make sure he's still willing to defend. If he's not willing to defend, then that's bad, and we're tying our army up for 18 months, unable to use them again, which is stupid, really, really dumb. But, because he's willing to defend, we're going to take 92 of his monies. And then immediately turn around, declare war on the Ottomans, and he honors the defensive call. We'll make the war goal Slavonia, this is easiest for us to siege. Because he honors the call, we're now hostile to him, which means that we can't subsidize him anymore, so that contract, uh, the war subsidies automatically gets cancelled, and also the contract automatically gets cancelled, and he just gave us 100 ducats for no reason. So now it's us for hun versus Hungary. They do have a lot of dudes, but um, they got rebels, and Poland, Ottomans, like, things look bleak from Hungary's perspective. I'm not too worried about... Um, Declaring the war right now. We want to make sure that we're on pest, hopefully before the Ottomans get there. It's actually still showing that we've got this this subsidies to Mantua. I'm I I think I'm right. I don't think that this can actually continue over the monthly tick. Yeah, that automatically canceled. No one else on Pest. Perfect. We want to be the first one there. Unfortunately, the Ottomans got to Slavonia, our war goal first. Aristocrats, aristoc or yeah, aristocracy united just got that thing done. Uh, what is the Ottomans' war exhaustion? It's difficult for me to see now because I can't see their terrain anymore. And if I look at one of the adjacent provinces to us, it's going to show the war exhaustion for the occupier, not for the Ottomans. So this 4.08 war exhaustion, I'm mostly certain, is Genoa's war exhaustion, not uh, not the Ottomans. I can't tell. Unless I'm going to send a ship over there and I don't really want to. Okay, we do want to take the time to knock Mantua out. We might not want to take this idea group or this idea is yet, because we're going to take some clay in this war. And we're going to need a core at least a little bit. I'm leaning toward just taking these four claims. I don't think that we want to pay extra. I want this to be super quick, dirty, easy. Just super easy. You can check exhaustion at kebab occupied clay. Oh, true, yeah. Obviously. They're at 3.78. Right. Obviously, if this is Genoa, then this is going to be Ottoman Sturp. Unfortunately, we have no siege pips. Not even... Uh... Ottomans return Chorus to Venice. They, uh, they surrendered to Genoa. They gave up. Okay, things look a lot better for Hungary now. 
We're still guaranteed by the Ottomans because we didn't betray them. So unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to be able to pile onto the Ottomans, but we didn't lose the uh, guarantee. Unfortunately, I already released Montenegro, which means that could happen, which is real bad. Crap. Crap. Uh, we kind of maybe possibly need some friends, like real quick, because I feel like the Ottomans are going to go for us right now. Like looking at their options, they've got Caraman and like this stuff over here, but they can attack Montenegro right now. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Hmm. I am kind of regretting releasing Montenegro right this moment. Our half price trader just died. Uh, I think for now we'll just not have an advisor because we're poor. Um, we do have tech six. Does Mentu have tech six? They do. Also, we got yearly uh, yearly naval tradition plus 0.5. Ooh, fancy. Here's Montenegro with a two stack. Uh, let's tell them to be supportive and maybe come help somewhere. Is there still a way for you to sneak into the HRE? Um, I mean, theoretically, we could still join if we had, if we were adjacent to the HRE via direct province adjacency or sea tile adjacency. So if we conquered Dalmatia and made the Pope uh, made the Emperor like us, then yes, maybe. If we took Laika in the war and didn't take too much development over here then also maybe. But it's difficult to make Austria like us enough because we're part of a different religious group now. Or a different religion, I'm not Catholic. Ottomans lost. They uh, they were forced to return like Durez to Venice. Yeah, they gave Durez back. I'm just really worried the Ottomans are going to clear on us right this second. And not, they won't declare on us, they'll declare on our subject. And that'll be effectively the same thing. All because I released Montenegro. That might end up becoming a, a huge, huge mistake in this campaign. I thought that the Genoans would fight longer. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that Genoa wanted out that quickly. But... You know what? Here's why it happened, guys. It's because we we canceled our contract and started focusing on Hungary and we didn't go for the war goal. If we had gotten Genoa 25 war score back for getting the war goal, then he would have stayed in that war forever. So this is this is basically our fault for not guiding the AI into uh sticking with it. They just they just surrendered because of the uh the ticking war score probably capping out. Okay, we have a little bit of money. Um, barracks. I'm not really too worried about manpower at the moment. It's mostly, like, money. Get a church in our capital. Chat is clairvoyant, always. I don't feel like that's the case. Not attaching to the right thing, little derp. You're supposed to stay on the pest siege. But I can focus on carpet sieging a little bit. There, he's going back. Good. Yeah, we definitely need to make this war quick. Quick and dirty. I can't afford to uh, have the Ottomans come in and murder me. The problem is that he wants... Oh, nice. He doesn't desire our land right now. Perfect. This guy, Padishah Ahmed. Is a diplomat. He's decided he's not interested in our land. We're fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. See, everything's fine. It all works out in the end. Time to reelect Eduardo. Neat. Now there is a gold mine in Haunt, but it's very, very low development, and uh, we're not going to get paid much for occupying it. But it does cost him. 
a ducat a month if we occupy it. Problem is that I have to siege down the Trenson Fort to keep it occupied or keep an army parked there. I don't really want to do that. Did Ottomans win the war? They did not, no. I can easily see uh, the Hungarians going bankrupt right now. We can get some prestige if we go focus our efforts on Mantua. Maybe after Pest Falls and Belgrade Falls, we'll send the entire army west. Knock out Mantua, then double back. Or, if things look bad, I'll just peace out now. So that we don't have to uh, stay in this war for very long. Take admin tech, we don't want to do that, obviously. I'm still holding off on taking this, because I think there's a chance we're going to uh, need the admin points for coring. Lawrence has done something with the Pope. Where are Poles to penetrate Hungarian forts? Uh, there is a 34,000 stack in the hill, the highlands of Zemplin, suffering 5% attrition. You know, like you do. Obviously. I haven't seen the Mentuan army recently, and I think they've got like a 9 stack, so I'm a little worried. They got 2 and 6, so they got an 8 stack somewhere. I feel like they could easily beat these two, two little tiny stacks I'm using to Carpet Siege. So just gotta keep a close eye on that. Are Auto Derps subsidizing someone now? Subsidizing? No. Why would they be? Okay, we are making one ducat a month. Perhaps we do want to hire a morale of armies advisor or or summit guy or something just to just to maybe eke out a little bit more of an advantage. We're kind of lowish. We're the most low on on military points out of Dippo and Mill. I think I'm gonna take morale of armies guy for now. That should also help to de incentivize Mentua or hungry from coming to fight my armies. Okay, the trial. Okay, generally speaking, uh, you, with this event, we always want to... ...spread the cost of the Republican tradition out. We don't want to take these Monarch points. So we'll take the five Republican tradition. Take Clay to cut off the Ottomans. I'm leaning toward taking all four of our claims. I don't think that making the play for the Empire is necessary, at least now that this guy, age 20 diplomat, that doesn't want our Clay, is, uh in charge. If if he were still a militarist, then I'd be really, really concerned. You know, like I was. The Family Act. Aristocrats gain negative 20 influence or lose stab. Yeah, okay. Seems fine. Uh, let's, let's still boost them back up just a little bit. I don't like them being above 60-ish, so. Should we stop doing achievements when we get to 69% achievements? Is that why you're mentioning it? Okay, we'll have Montenegro pay for our fort. And even though I kind of like to go this way towards Thames, I, I think we need to try to knock out Mentua next. So let's actually go, these guys can merge up. That is a 12 sack. He's not bankrupt yet, so perhaps... Perhaps what we should do is not do the separate piece with Mantua. Basically, if we take the time to siege down the Mantuan fort, we're looking at up to 17 prestige, or, uh, 
Well, let's just take a look and see what we could get if we stuck with it. Seventeen is like the most you can possibly get if you do a null rival, uh, null three rivals, and war reps. So fourteen because he doesn't have three rivals. Or we could do war reps and sixty ducats. I don't think that's enough. I'm not willing to go do a level three capital fort for that. That's that's too long. And we just took pest. So I think we're just gonna push hungry down to low enthusiasm and then peace out. What? Hold on, hold on. The Poles piled like 40,000 troops in Zemplin for the last year, suffering ridiculous amounts of attrition, and then now they've abandoned their siege? What? <laughs> okay. I mean, he's, he's basically on low enthusiasm, like one more month will do it. Or, yeah, now he's restarting the siege. I can't believe that. 49 day siege ticks! Jeez! 56% defensiveness here? That's disgusting. Alright. So, we could push for more, or we could just peace out now and be happy that it was easy. What do you guys want to do? The sooner we peace out, the sooner the truce can start ticking, which means we get to attack him again soon. Um, if we weren't doing this war, what would we be doing right now? We could we could actually re-rent. As soon as the war is over, we could rent our troops to Mantua again and go fight Poland, make some money, keep investing in the country. I feel like peace is the right way to go, personally. That's what I'm leaning toward. Take Slavonia, Zagreb for HRE. Alright, so the things we have claims on are... These three, plus if I transfer this back to me. We also have Belgrade. He's not willing to give us the three claims yet, but it costs no Diplo points. Uh, manageable aggressive expansion. It doesn't fully like block the Ottomans, but the Ottomans aren't interested in going north with this Diplomat. With this ruler, so... I mean, he's not gonna, like, race us in this way anyway. Right now we have the need for one and a half forts. If we take six plus five plus twelve development, that is eleven, twenty-three, basically pushes us to a hundred. So we need two forts, but we'll have two forts. We don't need the fort in Thames to keep our army tradition up, but it is a really good fort. I don't like how there's two forts adjacent to each other here. Probably delete one. Maybe we do take Thames and then delete the Belgrade for it. That makes sense. Yeah, I think so. Get a land for releasing Wallachia. Wallachia, um. I mean, we could. The fact that he doesn't want that land right now kind of also makes it theoretically a thing we could do. He will probably have a secondary rebellion at some point, but that's a difficult thing to keep subjects loyal through if they get land returned from rebels. Hmm. So part of the reason why I'm not super keen on taking a bunch of clay is that this is all in a different trade node from us, except for these three. And they're downstream or in a node that we can't really control super well. So like, moving into Pest is not super beneficial to us. It's also, I think, part of a different culture group. This stuff is part of our culture group. This stuff's not. Uh, I mean, technically, though, if we did join the Empire, we could get some benefits, like the dev cost, construction cost, national unrest soon. That's assuming we could convince him to let us in. We need to have 142 opinion with our current development. If we gain, call it 30 dev, 
we would need 15 more than what it's saying we would need right now. We'd have to get Austria's opinion to 157. I can go to 90 easily. Another 25. I don't think we can get that high. I would have to take, like, nothing but Leica right now if we wanted to join the Empire. Which, to be fair, Leica is a center of trade in our primary trade node, and it's coastal. But we don't have a claim on it. It's disconnected from our core territories. I think trying to join the Empire is just not worth it. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take a short break here. We're like at the end of episode anyway. We'll talk about it in chat and see if, if I can be persuaded, but I don't I don't think we want to join the Empire this campaign. Let's take a break. I'll be back the next episode. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.